Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Rescue Pepper Potts and Iron Man armor figure, which is part of the Hulk Build-A-Figure wave of the Avengers batch of Marvel Legends. And this is probably one of the best looking Marvel Legends figures we've had in... Oh, forever? No, I don't know. It's a really nice looking figure. It, it's just so amazing to me that you can get figures like this from Hasbro for $20, and you can also, for the low, low price of $20, get figures like this. It's just stunning to me. And before you say it, yes, I'm aware that some figures eat up more cost than others, and they have to spread that around. But I'm not so sure that they're spreading it around quite as much as they need to, and I think we're getting kind of kind of cheated on some of the cheaper ones. But hey, there's no way to know that for sure, so we can go ahead and move on. Just some food for thought. But this figure is absolutely 100% stunning and that is a very objective rating uh, but no realistically speaking I think you'd be hard-pressed to find anybody that says no that's an ugly looking figure it is just gorgeous it looks so nice the paint okay let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take another look this figure stands just about six and a quarter inches just about that maybe six and three eighths which makes it just about 16 centimeters so it is well scaled with the other figures and like I said Stunning. Look at that paint job. Holy crap. So even if you want to talk about the cost being distributed across different figures, so some are more and some are less, that doesn't explain why the paints are so much better on some uh, rather than others. I'm not talking about the amount of paint, although that's true here too. Look how clean it is. Look how clean that paint job is. That means it's something they're capable of. This thing is stunning. Look at the line work. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I, I can't get over how good this looks. This might be the best looking Iron Man suit as far as quality of execution goes that we've ever seen from them. And they've had a few good ones. The Mark 42 comes to mind or the Iron Patriot built it from that movie as well. Those were both really well done. I don't think they were as well done as this. This is amazing to me, and I use that word literally, not the way most people use it, where everything's amazing. I'm amazed by the quality of this look, of this figure. It's... Uh, aside from that, I'm speechless. It's, it's something else. It really is. The sculpt is on point, obviously. It might not be perfectly accurate, because that's not the nature of these kind of things, but I don't care about that. You know, you have to give them some leeway for that sort of stuff. But holy crap, this thing is just... Much wow, much wow. Aesthetically speaking, this figure gets a 9 out of 10. It's as close to a 10 as a Marvel Legends, for a Marvel Legends has been, I think. But of course, there is some room for improvement. We have some things like line work, which is not, you know, doesn't have a wash and stuff like that. And I'm not saying it's necessary, obviously, but those kind of things is what you could get for a 10. You know, if it had a little bit, just a little bit of a wash to accentuate the panels, something like that. You know, you could go for a 10. But without that, we're going to go 9, and I feel that's fair. So, absolutely stunning. As far as accessories go, we have these different backpacks. We have the one backpack which is closed and fits on the body very nicely. And then that pops off. And then we have the backpack which goes on and is open. And that gives her these different flight panels. And it is equally well executed. The paint job is still immaculate. We have different colors inside. We don't normally get this kind of thing from Hasbro. Normally we get things like, oh, it's all silver inside. It looks like these are supposed to open. Mine don't move though. Oh, oh, it moved. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I must have been pulling on it the wrong way. That's what she said when I first tried to open it. Holy baloney. Best Iron Man figure to date so far. We'll get into the articulation in a minute, but I mean, okay, we need more accessories. So accessory wise, that's a really fantastic accessory, but no alternate hands, no repulsors of any variety, no sort of attack variety. We're only gonna go seven out of 10 because it's an Iron Man figure essentially without any means of, of assault. So that's kind of a bummer, but still, wow. So much wow so far. All right, moving on. Did I give it a rating? I think I did. If I didn't, I'll edit it back in. And then I'll edit this out. Or I won't. Anyway, moving on to the articulation. The neck. Look at that. First of all, the head fits on the neck nicely. Look at that. There's no huge lollipop syndrome or anything like that. So the head is on a ball peg on a hinge, of course. So we can look up very nicely. That's great. We can look down all the way. So it's just like this is how it's supposed to be done. Of course, you can move side to side. Can we lean? Yeah, we get a little bit, not a ton, but enough. That's very nice. 
So for a while now, they've been doing face plates with a separate piece for the Iron Man figures. And so the eyes are recessed and there's a kind of a gap going around the face plate. They didn't do that for this one and it looks phenomenal. Just paint it well and it's gonna look good. However, there is some issue. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to pick it up. You can see the tooling marks, whether it's from the making of the mold or the 3D printing of the prototype. It's kind of hard to say, but you can see texturing. It almost looks like a fingerprint on there. It's super minimal, so you won't notice it unless you're doing something like a review, but it is worth mentioning. All right, on to the shoulders. We get horizontal range, so that's good. Full rotation, that's good. A bicep swivel on a female figure, double jointed elbows on a female figure. What is this? What is this nonsense? This is this is not how it's supposed to be. We have a swivel and a hinge for the wrist. A little tricky to use because of that flap right there, but it's still fine. Diaphragm joint goes pretty far back. I'll take it. Pretty far forward. Side to side is really nice. Rotation is their perfect diaphragm joint. I mean, perfectly well done it could be i mean you can always maybe eke out a little bit more range but this is this is well within the reason of of except uh, uh, expectations not exceptions that's very very nice very nice for the hips now i'm a little worried about the hips let's see how the hips function going out to the side Ooh, they tuck in so we get about 45 degrees so that's pretty good i'll take that that's as much as most spider-man figures these days going forward not as much you get a little bit more limitation because of the v-shape of her crotch area gonna get in trouble for that one and so you can't bring them forward as well they do go out to the side a little bit but you do still get enough range you could put her in a decent flight pose no trouble at all it just won't be as free posing as you might have hoped to bring that leg forward some but that's perfectly okay by me thigh swivel is well it's there and it's hidden but you also get a lot of rotation on the ball joint itself so whatever for the knees, no problem there. And for the ankles, we get pretty good range going back. Would never need more than that as far as I can tell. And going forward, it's that's pretty solid. It looks like it's not moving that much, but look at the actual angle of the foot. That's very well done. I like that. So they have a really big ankle joint here, but they did a good job of hiding it and blending it in with the sculpt. So that is awesome. That's a great way to do it. And then we have a really nice ankle rocker. So ultimately this articulation, though the hips are lacking to some extent, everything else is pretty exceptional. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10, especially for a female figure. This is easily one of the best examples of good articulation on a female figure that we've seen. It's, it's great. And yeah, it's probably partly because it's a robot suit, so it's easier to hide and stuff like that. But also I think they just tried a little bit more. They don't try on most of the other figures. They, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They just don't try. And this one clearly did try. They tried for it and it is, wow. All right, time for the final verdict, guys. This figure is something I am so surprised by. I am so surprised by, but I love it. Absolutely love it from a, from a reviewer's standpoint. I mean, I'd, I'd be more than happy to love every figure I review, but I don't get to do that because it's not my job and they don't make good figures every time or most times even. But this is just a treat, something like this, where I get to gush over something objectively and subjectively, there's just nothing better. That's, that's as far as reviewing goes, this is what's, this is what's up. I, I'm so happy with this. So, final verdict on this figure. Uh, I'm gonna skew away from the accessory being limited because I can get past it because everything else is so damn good. I'm gonna give this figure a final verdict of nine out of 10. It'd be a 10 out of 10, I think, if we had good accessories. I would I would fudge the numbers and give it a 10 if we had good accessories, but having only the backpack is a little bit of a bummer. No blasting hands or anything like that. It's gonna pull it back, but for what it is, what's here, oh man. Do yourself a favor and get this. If you're collecting Marvel Legends and you're thinking about not getting this, get this. Add it to the Iron Man collection. Very, very exceptional release from Hasbro. Wow, well done. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, go ahead and give it a thumbs down too. That is all right. If you haven't subscribed, you might want to consider doing so. I have new videos up just about every single day and thousands already on the channel just waiting for you to watch them. So make sure you come back for all of that. And in the meantime, keep collecting.